Coach, we'll start with you. What a comeback for you guys. Um, coming into this tournament, I know there's a lot of questions people thought about you guys getting in with what happened at the NCAC. What does this show the nation about what your team is about? Well, <laughs> the big thing about this team all year, we've been resilient. Um, and that's kind of been our MO all year. And that guy did a great job. Merriweather was unbelievable. That's a really good baseball team. By well coached, Coach Brown's a stud, great coach. And um, what we did tonight is what we've been doing all year. And uh, we had some big hits late, especially this guy. And then uh, Max Cohen coming off the bench and then the pitching late in the game with Rademacher and Quinn and, and Braden White was phenomenal. And then the start by Riley Futterconnect was, was money. That was, that was great stuff. So all around a great team effort and we hung in there and uh, we, we made the most of our opportunities. Let's talk about that eighth inning there. You mentioned Max with the pinch hit getting the game tying double. That's a huge situation for someone who's been on the bench the game. Yeah, he's, he's been on the bench for a couple games and just felt like he was the guy. He's a senior. He's been he's been grinding. He's been working hard and just felt like that was the right move. And, and what a great job with two strikes and a big hit. And all season long, you guys have had one of the best offenses. You know you guys were done a breakthrough. Just talk about the job of your relievers to keep the score at what it was. Yeah, that was the game. Uh, Riley was, was doing a great job. And then we went to Andrew Quinn and um, had a tough, you know, couple tough hits off him. And then Grant Rademacher and then Braden White. But um, those guys have been doing a phenomenal job. And, and they're fresh. You know, they, they, um, we, we've, we've done a good job minimizing their innings throughout the year with, a, you know, hoping for an opportunity like this. Thanks, Coach Tate. Sure. On to you. Obviously, I have to preface it with <laughs> over four and four strikeouts. Right. right. Um, but that's just what makes it so much more special. Right. You know, that all that's in the past whenever you come up to the bat for the fifth time, you see a pitch, you get a good swing on it. Mm -hmm. What was going through your mind heading into that bat and then whenever you hit that? Um, you know, it, going into the at bat, the thought was can't strike out five times <laughs> in a game. Um, no, but I mean, walking up to the plate, um, Coach Allen talks a lot about just breathing, being calm, living in the moment. Um, he, he said, get up on the plate. Um, and you know, I, with the situation that we had, I was really just trying to hit a ball hard in the air. Um, it just happened to be a double. So it worked out well. <laughs> what was your guys' mindset after you tied the game in the eighth? Uh, it seems like all of the momentum and confidence was on your side. Did you guys feel like you were going to pull through at that point? Um, I, I think throughout the entire game, we had the feeling that we were going to pull through. I mean, throughout the whole season, we've been down big, and a lot of times we've come back. Um, and that's, as Coach Allen was saying, that just speaks to the resiliency of this whole team. And, you know, this is late game into the early morning. How busy could they get that? extra couple of hours playing the fourth game of the game, I guess, today again. Right. Uh, that's that's huge. Um, we'll get a good night's sleep and uh, be ready for Keystone tomorrow. Congratulations.